This exercise is about utilizing source transformation to solve this circuit. Of course, the circuit have to have the right topology for us to be able to use source transformation to solve it. This is how we will proceed. We will convert this branch, which is a Thevenant branch, into an Orton branch. We will convert also this Thevenant branch into an Orton branch. Why? Oh, observe. This Thevenant branch becomes this Norton branch. I agree. The rest of the circuit remains the same. Excellent. What is the value of this resistor? Oh, 10 ohms, which is the same value we had before, 10 ohms. And this current source, 50 divided by 10. So this is 5 amps. That's good. If this 40 ohm resistor has not changed, this is 40. This is a 12 ohm resistor here, and this is the 8 amp current source. But this 7 amp branch is transformed into a Norton branch with the same polarity, right? So minus plus, so the polarity determines the direction of the current source in the Norton uh, equivalent. 40 divided by 20, this is 2 amps. And a resistor in parallel with the same value, 20 ohms. This is 20 ohms. And that is a transformed circuit. Please observe that we are trying to find the voltage in this 12 ohm resistor according to the problem we're finding Vx. So that means that we can transform everything around that resistor but not the resistor itself we have to leave that resistor alone now these two these two are in parallel we can combine them if this source and this source they are in parallel we can combine them so combined we can eight and two those two current sources are equivalent to a 10 amp current source the resistor remains, it's 20, 20 ohms, mm -hmm. 12 ohms here, um, it, 10 in parallel with 40, that would be uh, 400 divided by 50, uh, that is 8, okay, so this is an 8, 8 ohm resistor, and this continues to be this 5 amp current source. 5 amps. Please excuse my my awful handwriting. Um, we're almost there, almost there, but not quite. We can convert now this Norton branch into a Thevenant branch, and we can do, you see this Norton branch into a Thevenant branch, and this Norton branch into a Thevenant branch. Well, how? Uh, this way. The direction of the current determines the polarity of the of the V source in the Thevenant branch. In the Norton branch, the current goes to the top, so the Thevenant branch, the voltage is like that. Um, the 12 ohm resistor, and this Norton branch becomes another Thevenant branch. The polarity of the V source is given by the direction of the current in the Norton. Uh, in the northern branches like that. This is our circuit. This is 12 ohms. So this is 8 ohms. This is 20 ohms. And the value of this Thevenant source is uh, 5 times 8, 40 volts. 40 volts here. Uh, 20 times 10, 200 volts. And uh, now these two sources, of course, are in series, so we can combine them into a single source. And this resistor and that resistor are also in series. We combine them into a 20 ohm uh, resistor. So let's say this is 28 ohms, and uh, this combined with that one, of course, this wins. 
and the voltage is 160 volts like so we have not touched the 12 ohm resistor that is the target of our problem now we are to find what is this voltage you say is that voltage with that polarity yes this voltage with that polarity you say well uh, actually the voltage is like so right that means that vx is going to be a negative one okay no problem so what would be let me call this this voltage uh, vm what would be vm well vm we obtain with a voltage divider so vm is just 160 the total voltage times 12 divided by 12 plus 28 12 plus 28 which is 40 and for that we use a calculator 160 enter 12 multiply 12 enter 28 enter addition division 48 48 volts 48 volts so vm is 48 volts so that means that actually vx is negative 48 volts and there is a solution to that one